Hello guys, we're gonna to talk today about White Perry Select 8 inches. This is the beautiful Perry Select boots. And I have here two. Let me present to you the Red Wings 877 and the Third Good Heritage. Um, this is going to be a good comparison between mock toes. Um, in my perspective, in my opinion, want to present to you this Paris. Been working with this since April and wearing at least two times a week. A lot of walking. This is tobacco stampede. Look this letter, guys. For those that don't want to hear me, my Mexican American accent, <laughs> just want to watch the leather. There you go, guys. <laughs> this is a beautiful leather by Sado. Oh, I miss the opportunity to get a pair of sneaks. They used to sell the the travelers um, with sneaks with this leather, and I miss many opportunities. You can see how very good this leather had formed an ankle in my ankle, which I love it. And this is the Perry Select. What is the difference? Well, basically, you have leather wealth. It's a two-piece construction on the front. You have a leather heel, leather heel counter. You have the leather insole. You have a cork filling. And they give you this insert, foam insert with the boot. Really, super, really easy to take off. Good quality, it's okay. Like, it's not something that amazing. The brand is, or what is this brand? Or to Hortholit, I think. I don't know. It's nice, but it gives me a little. It's a little warm. So maybe you guys in the north will like this. I'm gonna try to get the a leather insert and add it because oh, it's a little bit it's spongy. It's very comfortable. They remind me a lot of Target. The Target have similar one. So uh, something I didn't. Like. I'm gonna start with this. Sorry, whites, but you guys, you nail those nails. You can watch those nails. That one below was uh, like one eight out of the leather. So I have with a, with a pair of pliers, I cut it off and hammered down. But you can see uh, with sweating, all the rust of of the bolts have uh, have uh, transferred to my. So my insert, one of the reasons I want to change to leather. Um, it's very comfortable, very comfortable. I'm not saying not, it's just a little warm. So for those guys like me in South Texas, is the difference between life and death. Well, um, I brought my Mock Tools Red Wings A77 and the Heritage 30 Goods. I'm gonna make a few comparisons and I'm gonna explain why I took those pairs here right now. Well, you have, uh, with the pairs you have in the front, two-piece construction. It's very good skills, guys. Perfect whites. You made very good stitching. I like the stitching. The leather is similar to the Red Wing. Absolutely. Let me take the field right. Yes. Yeah, similar. Same thickness. I'm gonna take off nicks of this equation. Nicks here have nothing to do. They don't make this stuff well. They don't make similar things like these three pairs. So the leather is just out of this league. So nicks is gonna be out of the question in this video. I'm gonna mention maybe sometimes, but it's out of the question. Nothing, no construction is similar. So let's talk about these three ones. Three different prices, three different qualities and it worked behind these whites. I don't know. Let's find out. So you have the front to piece construction. I've been using this boot since April, and guys already have some gaps in the front. Like they didn't add too many. Not sure if these guys didn't add too many glue or it's just a little taller than the one from Red Wing. I don't mind. I don't mind if this open and show everything. <laughs> Who cares? This are this booth. I got this booth for work. And 
um, this is not this midsole is not leather. I, I want to guess it's rubber, same like the Red Wing. One big difference with this ones and the Red Wing is the outsole. Different patterns, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the white type of wedge is similar to the Targa. I'm pretty sure, guys. It's not just touching with my nails. I'm pretty sure, man, this composition of the Red Wings is the, the typical wet sole. Uh, quite different. And let me tell you why. If I put this one close, this one is very smooth and this one ha have some grain. I'm not sure that if that is from factory, but it's different. Look the one from Tartaga. I'm pretty sure, and I always, I always say to people, Third good uh, the wedge on the third good uh, I don't it's not vibrant I don't think it's vibrant it's at the, it should be other brand and holds a lot on the third good you're gonna finish first the letter and then the auto and typical case of red wings everyone who were who were red wings and with a wedge and they use daily and they're going to know what I'm talking about you're going <laughs> it's not gonna last a year not at all, not at all. Using daily, guys, daily. For those that just take pictures or just take one of the month or each two weeks, it's gonna last 10 years, of course. But for a guy who uses this daily, I can assure to you that you're gonna start watching being smaller and smaller each month. But this target, I'm surprised they haven't, they haven't. You haven't eaten nothing. I'm very, I'm very impressed, and I'm pretty sure it looks like the third ago. Other type of leather. You say vibrant, but other type configurations. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the Paris came with the tongue. Well, I like the tongue. Very subtle, pliable, oily, like the Red Wing. Um, but you here you have two different configurations. Some people say no, no, no eyelets because it takes a lot to put on and took off. I don't know, man. I'm the kind of guy that I wake up, I put my boots just one time a day, and when I came home at night, I take it off just one time. If you're the kind of guy that put boots on and off six times a day, maybe all eyelets is not for you. But two, three more minutes, <laughs> it's nothing to be worried about. Some, um, why I'm saying this, I like the shaft on the Paris, but if you want to lose a little bit the, the, the laces because you are working a lot outside, already sweaty, drinking water, and you expand a bit, you wanna feel the shaft, oh, it's a little tight, you want to lose a little bit the laces. And if you lose more than the shoe, those laces start to fall off very easy from these high hooks. I know they should make bigger eye hooks or I don't know. It's, it's something that is not all days, but if you, don't, if you lose a little bit more, the laces fall off right away. So one of the reasons I always, I always lay the boots up to the, up to this eyelet. So if the loose, if the laces fall off, uh, they're not going to be dancing on the floor. So, well, you pay for this boot uh, four hundred dollars, four hundred twenty. From the Red Wings, you pay three hundred thirty, and the Third Goods, you pay two two sixty. Um, which one is the most comfortable of the three? Uh, we're very, very honest with you guys. This is not discussion. The Paris is the most comfortable. Oh yeah, those are very comfortable. What I want to change the leather insert, um, the the foam insert. I'm gonna take this insert off 
and put the I, Red Wing sell one type of leather insert. I'm gonna get the one from Red Wing and put on the Paris. But right now you're talking 30 more dollars. So in value, which one is the best one? I think the Red Wing. I think Red Wing is, if you're talking about value in general, lasts longer, good leather, premium leather, quality, recraft, resole. I think Red Wing will compete, uh, will win the prize. Paris give you these leather laces plus their nylon ones. I don't remember. I don't think a red will give you leather laces. So you have to buy leather laces. You have to buy uh, maybe an insert if you want to. I don't need an insert for my red wings. Um, the thick leather insert is more than enough for me. And $330 is, I think it's a very good amount. If you just want one good pair for work, it's amazing. If you can have a, a little bit more luxury, spend 60 more dollars, and it's saying American made. This come the question. I'm pretty sure these outsoles, wet soles, are the, the one from Target. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure of this one being holding a lot better. So if you pay 60 more dollars, you get one more pair of laces, you get a la more lasting outsole. So if you're the kind of guy that you walk a lot, you have the same problems with the red wings that the outsole works very fast. I think the pearl is going to be a very good a very good investing 60 more dollars and buying the Paris. So you may keep that in mind. Um, this one came with the soft toe, but still they have here a little bit of elastic. You can see here, it's like a, a small elastic piece. So it's not that very soft. It's, it's very soft, but you have some rigidity here. Um, this is totally soft, and they have elastic. All, all of this is elastic. And with the wise, it's just this. So you have a better, this box, I like more the box with the Paris than the Red Wings, than the Thorough Goods. The Thorough Goods is the cheapest one for those guys that beat the boots super fast don't spend just take the target goods each, each time but well guys this is a very fast review 12 minutes right now almost 13 and want to present the Perry select incredible work by white it worth the money yes it does I am gonna lie man I can I cannot lie it's very good investing Better than Red Wings, only time will know if this is better or not. Um, we need to see time, we need to give time. Two, three more years, more people buying, more people reviewing. Uh, I know this is my channel, this is my world, but we need this been, this, this been, this Red Wings been rocking for decades. And these are the new guys in town. So, well, for God, right? Here, 60 more dollars, and you have a very good heel, corner heel, like you can see. Red Wing is, <laughs> is not as good, which is very good for some type of trades, but, but for other ones like myself, I like more having the heel counter. Yes, I like more this style, having the, the counter heel. Um, it's a lot better. So, new guy in town, let's see what it happens. Uh, what do you think, guys? Uh, should we... Which one you bought? If I have to bought... Oh, man. Red Wing lovers are going to hate me, but I think the White Paris will take uh, for me this year. But let's see what happens. Let me, let me put this more on work, in concrete, in asphalt, in, 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 lo in other type of environments, and see what happens. Um, I haven't added oil to this boot. I don't think it needs that many oil. Honestly, it's, uh, it came very good saturation of oils. Red Wing 2, I have only applied one time oil to this, uh, these Red Wings. And being holding, just amazing. Just uh, one saddle soap and that's it. So, let's see what happened. And if, if you have questions, let me know. One difference, this took uh, two, three months to be made. 
Red Wings, you can buy it tomorrow without a problem. So it's your decision. Guys, I'm very excited to be here with you. And I'm gonna be reviewing more boots. Sorry, I haven't got time to be alone at the home and and I haven't got time to make this video, so big apology. But you know, uh, I'm a humble guy. You, for those who follow me on Instagram and watch me in a few groups in Facebook, thank you for the support, guys. I'm I'm very humble for all the questions, comments. Let me know anytime, 24/7. I don't mind. And thank you, thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Let me know what, what do you think about the whites. If you have a white, you have a red wings. If you have thirty goods, hey man, these are pretty good boots. This is something I still use the thirty goods. I still use them. It's just it's super super flexible. This is very very flexible. That's my. It's like a tennis shoe. This I don't consider this more. I, for me, this is more a, sh a sneaker than a boot. But and these are more boots than sneakers. So that's the only reason why I don't use very often. But if I know I want to have a very tough day. And I've been trying to kill these guys and they just don't die. So let's see what happens. Guys, thank you. God bless you. And have an amazing, amazing week. Bye-bye.